Hello, my name is Doug Oots, and today I will be providing an overview of Novell Kanaka for Mac. Novell Kanaka for Mac is the long-awaited e-directory authentication and storage access solution for Macs. Novell Kanaka for Mac has flexible login options for the Mac OS X users. The technology for the product was developed by Condry Corporation. Novell OEM's other products developed by Condry Corporation, including Novell Storage Manager and Novell File Reporter. While this is a new offering from Novell, the product, Kanaka, has been around since 2005. Kanaka is the most popular e-directory authentication solution for Macs in the world today for a number of reasons. It simplifies a very complex problem, integrating the Mac client with two different directories. It actually is endorsed by Apple. In fact, Condry Corporation engineers work very closely with Apple directory services engineers during the development. Nobel is now making this product available as part of the launch of OES 11. It is being offered for download free of charge to OES 2 or OES 11 customers that are current on their maintenance agreement and Nobel will provide first level support. Expect a big marketing flash for Nobel Kanaka for Mac in the early part of this calendar year. Nobel is distributing Nobel Kanaka for Mac because of customer demand. Mac users has always been prominent in education accounts and continues to grow in these accounts. However, you should also be aware of the increase of Macs being deployed in business accounts. The chart below shows the increase of Mac OS X install base since 2010 and the projected growth through year 2015. There is, has not been a Nobel client for Mac for many years and the workarounds for integrating Macs with Nobel eDirectory requires a significant investment and time to learn, implement, and maintain that most customers are not willing to do. Let's take a look at the main components that comprise Nobel Kanaka for Mac. First, there's the Kanaka engine. The Kanaka engine is hosted on either OES2 or an OES11 server, and it enables Mac authentication and access via SIFs, SMB, or AFP protocols and on the OS X workstation or laptop there's a choice of two uh, components that you will install based on your authentication needs. First there is the Kanaka plugin which is supported on OS X 10.4 or later and it provides simultaneous authentication to eDirectory during Mac logon. Then also it mounts all user and group storage and then the Kanaka desktop client is supported on OS X 10.5 or later, and it provides client login authentication to eDirectory and also mounts all the user and group storage. And the last component is the browser based interface used for configuring and managing Novell Kanaka for Mac. The Kanaka engine is the workhorse of the product and performs actions that enable communication between Macs and Novell eDirectory. When you install and configure the engine, you extend the eDirectory schema to enable the product and create a proxy user account for performing certain tasks. The engine is the means of storing volume client protocol information in eDirectory, assigning group home directories for seamless access to group storage, and authenticating Mac OS X users to eDirectory. There are two eDirectory authentication methods for Mac OS X. There's the Kanaka plugin and the Kanaka desktop client. Let's take a look at why we provide these two different methods of authentication. With the Kanaka plugin, the user logs in to eDirectory using their eDirectory ID and password at the Mac OS X logon prompt. Now once the user logs in, the Kanaka plugin automatically authenticates this user using their eDirectory ID and password and mounts their both home directory and any group store they need access to on the Mac OS X desktop. The Kanaka plugin is great for users in computer labs or for people that keep their Macs in the office and always want to mount their Novell storage when they log in. The Kanaka client is typically used where, in situations where the user has a laptop or a workstation and they log in to their Mac OS X desktop using a local account. Then, once they're logged in, they can launch the Kanaka client 
log into eDirectory and get access to their Novell storage resources. So these users do not want to have to go through the Mac OS X logon window like they do with the plugin to access their storage resources. So they want to log in and then be able to access the client to get access to their Novell storage resources. So this is very good for mobile users who frequently work at home and connect through a VPN. All configuration and management of Kanaka for Mac is provided through a web-based interface. Using the web-based interface you can go in and configure the different access policies that you want for the Mac, uh, Mac users and then you can also configure storage resources that are automatically uh, mounted when the user logs in to their Mac. For example, this screenshot shows where the administrator is going in and configuring a group home directory attribute for a particular group. So whenever the user logs in to their Mac using either the Kanaka plugin or the Kanaka client, their group storage will automatically get mounted on the desktop or in the finder along with their home directory. Novell Kanaka for Mac leverages the power of identity built into Novell eDirectory. The user's identity, not login scripts, is the means of determining what storage a user has rights to and what to mount for that particular user once authenticated. So the home directory and collaborative storage links are built dynamically at login. Group membership automatically mounts associated group storage. There's no machine dependency for accessing storage. No need to remember location of the storage and no need to traverse from the root of a volume down to a user's store to locate the particular store that a user needs access to. And also from a management standpoint, administrator standpoint, there is no need to visit each machine to manually mount volumes and configure it. This screenshot shows the end user's experience once they've logged in using the Kanaka client or the Kanaka plugin. And as you can see, the uh, network resources can be displayed right on the desktop or the home directory and group storage mount points laid on the dock and also in the Mac Finder. Some of the mobility features included with Kanaka for Mac are it leverages the Apple's mobile account feature, provides Mac network and local login, it has the flexibility to configure mirroring so that network home directory and the local home directory always contain the same data. The profile is local which reduces network traffic and capable of reducing the need for accessing the network home directory. Novell Kanaka for Mac not only enables Mac users and Novell networks to authenticate and access their storage resources, it also allows end users some limited uh, user management. Both the Kanaka plugin and Kanaka client, for example, allow the end user to click on their home directory or a group directory stores location and view how much of their capacity is being used, as well as any quota limitations that may be may have been placed on these storage resources. Another popular feature for the Kanaka plugin and Kanaka client is the ability for the user to be able to change their eDirectory password. Novell Kanaka for Mac utilizes a lot of players to make single password authentication and access of Novell storage resources possible. Obviously, Novell eDirectory is a major player here. So after Kanaka determines the home and collaborative storage attributes that are stored in eDirectory, AFP or CSSMB are used to mount the volumes. Kanaka utilizes some of the client capabilities built into the Mac OS X uh, OS for authentication. Novell Native File Access enables single password login and mounting of volumes via the supported protocols. And Apple Open Directory via the Workgroup Manager provides added Mac OS X management features. Let's take a look at how Novell Kanaka for Mac works. On the left side, I have a Mac OS X workstation. And on the right side, I have a Novell network with Novell eDirectory with users and groups, and also some uh, Novell uh, servers, an OES 1011, OES 2, as well as a network server. So the goal is for a user to be able to log in to the Mac OS 10 workstation, authenticate using eDirectory, and automatically mount the storage resources that are being provided out on the Novell network. So the first thing the customer will do is install the Kanaka Engine component. Now the Kanaka Engine component can be installed either on an OES 11 or an OES 2 server. 
They'll then launch the management interface and configure a Kanaka access policy so that the users can authenticate from the Mac to Novell E directory and mount and access all their storage. The next step is to install either the Kanaka desktop client or the Kanaka plugin on the Mac OS X workstation. Now, the communication between the desktop client and plugin is done with secure HTTPS, and this provides the contactless authentication for the Mac user logging in to Novell E directory. Once the user authenticates from the Mac OS X workstation to Novell E directory, Kanaka will then retrieve all the information regarding their storage resources, both home directory as well as group storage resources and automatically mount this storage either on the desktop or in the dock on the Mac OS X workstation. And now that the user has logged in and gotten access to the different storage resources, he then also has the ability to go in and use the some of the management capabilities for for seeing their storage allocation and disk quota as well as change his password and e-directory. Novell Kanaka for Mac also integrates with Mac Workgroup Manager and the Open Directory service. Mac OS X workstations running Kanaka can be directed to receive Mac Managed Client Settings or MCX settings configured either in the Kanaka Access Policy or from a properly configured OS X server. Condi Corporation is committed to expanding the capabilities of Kanaka for Mac through scheduled product updates in the calendar year 2012 beginning with the support of eDirectory login scripts around February of 2012. This will be followed by better integration with Mac OS X Lion by automatically placing links to storage resources on the sidebar. The most ambitious update will be in the late summer when Novell Kanaka for Mac will be able to integrate with iPrint and Zimworks, and users will have the ability to manage file system trustee assignments on NSS and NCP-based Linux file systems whose rights are governed by eDirectory, providing the same or similar functionality that the Nobel client for Windows provides. So in review, Nobel Kanaka for Mac is the eDirectory authentication and access solution for Mac OS X for your OES customers. There are two authentication options. There's the Kanaka plugin and the Kanaka client. Kanaka for Mac automatically discovers and mounts all the Novell storage resources for the end users based on their identity directly to their Mac OS X desktop. And it's free to OES customers that are current with maintenance. I'd like to thank you for your time today and I hope you have a great day.